on a little journey. I'm flying back from Boston. I'm going to hop in a van. Hold on, I have my retainer. Fuck. Anyways, I'm hopping in a van from Boston. I'm driving to New York. I'm going to have practice. Then I'm going to wake up the next morning at 2 a.m. and I am going to fly to Puerto Rico. Yes, this is a team trip. We're playing in Puerto Rico. Emerson and the 12 ranked team Messiah. So, yeah, landing in Boston. Hope you have fun watching this. Somebody had stuff on my face, you're a fake friend. Check me out, check me out. Use my face cream. Now I'll show you the before from yesterday, how pimply it looked. Check. Go back. Shut up. Do you want the muffin now? Do you know the muffin man? The muffin man? The muffin man. No, I don't know where your peanut we butter bar is. Shut up. We're going to get the van. No, the peanut butter bar is somewhere. It took me two years to find that peanut butter bar. Sorry. <laughs> it's that freaking chocolate truffles. God forbid. Oh, I wish I got that on video. You called it a crep? I don't think that's right. <laughs> <laughs> it is too early in the morning for this shit. Hard win, and hopefully, 
tomorrow is easier. I'm done with the pool and we're probably gonna go to dinner, so. <laughs> Okay, I look I'm like shit, but uh, I'm getting it dressed, so I'm gonna put you guys right here because I think it's ready, 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 ready. I look like a like a seventh grade AAU player right now. Double grade just to be like in. I look like I could be in, like mom, mom. Oh no, sis. So here's the the tea. So if we win tomorrow, tomorrow, scratch that. If we win today, we we all shook on getting tattoos. So so we've been here for a couple of days now. That's my blanket. Get out. That's rude. So we've been here for a couple of days now, and my flyaways are trash. Um, I came from Delaware at 3 a.m. Took a flight. Got to Boston at 7:30 a.m. Went straight to New York, went straight to practice, went straight to dinner, went straight to sleep, woke up at 2 a.m., got on a flight at 5 a.m., that got delayed till 6 a.m., then we came to Puerto Rico, then we had practice, and then we had a game the next day, and then today we have another game, and then we have two days off, so that's nice. Um, if we win today, we get tattoos because we all shook on it. And I'm kind of scared, mom and dad. I'm talking to you right now. Tune in. I don't have a tattoo on my body. I'm a... I'm an ache a bit. The word patience because I have been patient through my whole basketball journey. I don't know if you guys know, but I'm going to spill my heart out and soul to you. So, um, I've been patient for my whole basketball journey. Um... I started off playing basketball in like fourth or fifth grade all the way up until now and um, I stuck to it even when coaches said that I'd never make it to college basketball yet I'm starting in Puerto Rico so it doesn't matter about the points that I score it matters how hard I go it matters what a good teammate I am so I don't care um, I was one of the star players in grade school I played throughout grade school, and then in eighth grade, I played up in the, at a high school in Delaware called St. Elizabeth's, and I played for a different coach for a year, and then another coach took over, and he said that I'd never make it to college basketball, and his assistants thought the same, but proved them wrong. So if you put your mind to something, it'll come true if you work hard. So... I got to college. I got recruited by a lot of colleges, probably like eight or nine, maybe 10. And I worked my ass off. So I'm really excited. And my family from Puerto Rico is watching me today as well. So poster child for hope. <laughs> Wait. Please, you look me in the eye and then I wanted to erase myself. So we won against, what were they, the number 12? Number 12, number 12. Yeah, we won. And we're ranked nothing, so. We're ranked nothing. I think we should be 12. Ooh. Maybe one, but you know. <laughs> Come on, there we go, go, go.
I'm tired.